Hello, everybody. This is Emmeth. Welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Damn, a game developer tycoon. And we're going to continue on Emmeth Games. Let's go. Um, last time we made a couple of games. We made, I think, three games. Was it? Or is it more? No, we made we made four games. Uh, we made game six, which had an average of 8.25 in reviews. Made a profit on that. We had Hitler survived, which had a cost of 76k, and we made well over two million dollars in that. That was our biggest hit so far. We had Pet Control, which had well, it's probably a worse game so far. And we had Adventures of Jimmy Parrot, which which was alright. And still going, actually. We're still selling units. Um, today, we will actually fill out a com complete... Uh, we're going to use 300,000 on a complex... Actually, we're going to use Gun. I think complex algorithms is... Um, I don't know. It's, I think it's more... Uh, Towards uh, design, um, showreel is more towards technology and game demo. I think is more even out. So we're gonna go with game game demo because we want an even person first. Um, so we're gonna hire a person before we uh, make our new game. Um, so we have Leroy uh, Rob Shaw, not Jenkins. Jenkins. That'd be awesome though if it was really real Leroy Jenkins, but it's not. Um, he has he has a right speed. It's not terrible, but let's see the other candidates as well. Um, oh yeah, that is. Seems like he has a lot of technology though. Um, I don't I don't know if I want to go for more more technology, Jaden Kennedy. I don't think you're a candidate right now. Well, you are a candidate, but you're not going to be hired. This guy seems alright, but it's not even even here. So, you know what? Leroy, you're hired. And we can now research available medium games. We're going to get into that soon. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is have a staff welcome training, which costs him. Okay, that's not too much. Uh, it will make him more motivated and all that. So we have Leroy with our in our team right now. So that's good. It's good. It's good. 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 It's good team. Good. 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 Yeah. There's a Nintendo thing right there. All right. So we have 18 research points. We're just gonna uh, do a game right away. I think. Uh, can we send him on a vacation? I know we can send him on a vacation um, soon. I'm not sure which one of these goes, but I think the signs for that. So we're gonna do this. So we are going to get him up in some technology, some sp to design, possibly over 200. Uh, so he will be even out with technology. Um, and Vina has announced that they will release a new gaming console again in two months. The Vina Oasis will come with 16-bit graphics and sound which promises a new kind of gaming experience. The Vina Oasis is um, obviously um, the Sega Genesis um, and I never actually played that one either. I've, I've tried it. It's it's an alright. I think it was an alright system to be honest. Might actually get a Sega once in a while, once in, a while in the future. Um, so yeah, Vina has said, Vina said at the announcement, at the announcement, the Oasis is a new start, it will be the genesis, oh, 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 clever, of uh, a new generation of gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the game, the console suggest that it will appeal to more mature audiences. Is that so? Well, okay. Anyway, once he's done with this... Actually, we're going to go ahead and new, go, go for a new topic. And dungeon is perfect because I want to make an RPG right now. RPGs is a good way to go, and dungeon is a very good topic for that. 
Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do it right away. I'm gonna go with mature audiences. We're gonna with um, dungeon RPG. We're gonna make it for the not the vinegar. I'm not gonna buy the uh, development cost for the vinegar. We're gonna go with the PC because PCs are best for the RPGs. I think we're go obviously gonna go with MSoft. Um, we didn't call it anything, so we're gonna do that. Um, Dungeon. Dark Dungeon. Dark Dungeon. Uh, it's, it's, it's gonna be called Dark Dungeon, and it's gonna be one of our, um, our series. One of our franchises. One of our really good franchises. Um, story and game play important for and no. Yes. Uh, of course. So, we're gonna do that. Um, so, as you can see, um, Leroy is also working on this, which is good. Um, dialogues is important. Level the sun is important. AI is important. So, we're, we're gonna go with this. Hopefully, this will be a new hit. And there's the Vina Oasis. It's been released. Uh, we might make a game for that as well. We'll see in the future, though. Possibly make a game for it. I think this is actually perfect, so let's go with this. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter for Planet GG. Planet Good Game, I guess. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview about this? Sure. Um. Okay, we're making an interview for this and soon we will be introduced to something else in okay, so Planet GG has recently published an interview with M Games. According to the interview, uh, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Kevin Jacobs, owner and CEO of M Games, said we think th that players are looking for more mature content in games and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later games with mature games themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Indeed. And as you can see, I was actually going to mention this, now there's hype for the game. And hype is good, but it can also be bad. Um, but I don't think it's going to be bad in this case. So we're making new records all over the place, and we're leveling up all over the place. And... We made some bonus. Let's see how this does. I have very good... I have a good feeling about this. I have a good feeling about this. So, an 8. That's great. The dungeon on RPG is a great combination. Indeed it is, actually. It is. Uh, a very good game. And more than an 8 here. A 9. Their focus on rule design served the game very well. And another 8. So, an average of... 8.25. It's not bad. I like it. We're gonna make money out of this. We're gonna make lots of money off this game. Um, Dark Dungeon. Great game, eh? Um, we're gonna go ahead and research stuff now. Um, I never really go for game tutorials, but maybe we should do it. But before we do that, I'm gonna go research game graphics. Actually, I don't think we have enough for we have enough for a level editor, but or better dialogues. We'll go with better dialogues. And we're going to make an adventure game. No, we're not. Never mind. Just researching stuff. There we go. We're gonna make a boss. I've discovered that some really dedicated fans of Hitler survived his later demise has created a fan game using a lot of the material from our game they don't make any money with it with it and just seem to do it for fellow fans our legal advisor strongly suggests that we shouldn't allow this to go on what do you want well let him be actually because they're not making any money of it so it's fine 
All right, so we're going to create a custom game engine now. Uh, we're going to upgrade our MSoft, which would be now version two. So let's go with that. Um, so now we have 3D um, for our games. 500,000, that's not too much. I mean, it's not terrible, but anyway. Hi, I'm Dennis Reed, the main developer of the Hitler Survived His Later Demise fan game. I recently be been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful that you didn't. Emmet Games is the best company in the world, and I'm glad I can be part of the fan community. That's great. So we got more fans. We have 6,000 fans now. Um, as we are developing a new game engine. Which is gonna be a great new engine, and... We are going to make, um, have we made a strategy game yet? No. We're gonna make a strategy game, as a matter of fact. Um, but before we do that, um, I might be, I might want to look into the, um, researching um, a new topic. We have hacking, um, we have cyberpunk, surgery, and dance. Hacking. Okay. We're gonna make a hacking game. Um, I'm not sure what it entitles, but thinking it's something that people would like. Alright, so, we are going to develop an everyone game for the, um, I don't know, we can't make a strategy game for the, any consoles I think, I think it's better for the PC, so we're gonna go for another PC game, and we're going with the Msoft version 2, and we are doing the 3D graphics. For the first time. Hacking strategy. Alright, um... Not sure how that will go, but we'll try. Engine is important. Gameplay is important. Sound isn't too important, so there we go. Um... What else is there? There's strategy, right? There's level design. And AI. I was thinking that... Dialogues isn't important, and... Stuff, but we will have better dialogues anyway, just because we can. I think I put the AI a little bit high, but that's okay. Looks like it's an even game between design and technology, which is good. We're gonna have mono sound. So we're going with about that and graphics support. So there we go. Roll the sign and sound. So we're making a new game. Um again. That's what we do. Um, so there we go. I didn't actually name the game anything. Um, hacking. I don't even know. Um, blue cannon. Blue cannon. Why the hell not? There we go. We leveled up in sound. Which is good, and someone is logging on. Hopefully you can't see that. Today, Ninvento announced the much-anticipated successor to the popular TES console. This is the greatest console we have ever built. It comes with, with state-of-the-art 16-bit graphics and sound. It is simply super, and that's why we decided to call it the Super TES. And we will actually make games for that. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems that they will not be disappointed. They will not, in fact. Here we go, with the reviews for our newly released game, Blue Cannon, which has no... Oh, whatever. Five, alright. Well, we're, we just want to make some... Ex we just want some, want some experience anyway, so... Averaging on... Five and a half, so that's good, I guess. 
All right. Well, I think we will be doing better in other game franchises, not game genres. Strategy isn't really a thing I want to prioritize. I want to prioritize action and adventure and RPGs and maybe simulations. We actually may, might want to make a simulation game next. Um, we're not selling a lot. You can go on vacation, by the way. I'm going to train you a little bit. Um, training them will actually um, be good for the future. Um, because they will actually be able to you know, evolve or whatever. Um, today the new game platform Super TES by Ninvento has been released. Great! 